Okay, so today we'll start off with readers check for comprehension. Who knows what comprehension means? That's a big long word. Akela, you need to make sure you're sitting up. Thank you. All right, what does comprehension mean, Gabe? Understanding. Understanding, nice job. All right, so we are gonna talk about readers checking for their understanding of when they read. All right, so do you, how many of you have seen The Wizard of Oz? How many of you have seen The Wizard of Oz? All right, just a few of us. All right, so The Wizard of Oz is a movie. Um, the main character's name is Dorothy, and she is on this trip, and she meets some friends along the way. Nina, do you have a question? Okay, so one of her friends that she meets along the way is called the Tin Man. So let me go ahead and show you a picture of the Tin Man. All right, here he is. Maybe make him a little smaller so you can see him. So here's the Tin Man. All right, so remember, for those of you who have seen the movie or read the book, remember that, remember, wow, this sentence doesn't make sense. Let me try again. Remember when Dorothy found the Tin Man, he was rusty because he had been standing for so long. When he tried to walk, he lost his balance and sounded terribly squeaky because he was out of practice and his joints were rusty. With my arms, I'm, so his joints were all rusty, so Dorothy had to give him oil because he was all out of practice because all he did was stand. So today, you are going to turn a corner. For over a week now, we've been focusing on building a powerful reading life. Finding and sharing the best books, setting goals, making reading friends, but there is another essential part to access to a successful reading life. Reading with your minds turned on so you truly understand what you read. Right now, that part is a bit rusty for some of you from not reading much over the summer. Today, I want to help you oil the rusty part of your reading, just like Dorothy oiled the Tin Man's joints. Destiny, make sure you're listening to me. All right, so today I want to teach you that readers give themselves a comprehension check. After they read a chapter, they check to make sure they understand what's going on. Readers ask themselves a few questions. All right, so here are the three questions you're gonna ask yourself when you read. Who was in this part? What just happened? Does this fit with something I already, that already happened or is it new? All right, and I have those three questions already posted for you on your Canvas page. So while you're reading, you can ask yourself those questions, okay? All right, so let's try these three questions out with our new Read Aloud Stone Fox. Now do you see why we started to read aloud first? So we're going to pick up where we left off and read a bit more and then give ourselves a comprehension check. As I read, remember that you're trying to understand the story well enough that you can answer these questions. Okay, so who was in the part? What just happened? Does this fit with something that had that already happened or is it new? So let me go ahead and pull up those questions for you so you can think of them while I am reading. Let me go ahead and pull that up. And then let me share my screen so you can see it. All right. So who was in this part? What just happened? Does this fit with something that already happened or is it new? So let me go ahead and continue reading. A 10 year old boy cannot run a farm, but you can't tell a 10 year old boy that, especially a boy like little Willie. 
Grandfather grew potatoes and that's exactly what little Willie was going to do. The harvest was just weeks away and little Willie was sure that if the crop was a good one, grandfather would get well. Hadn't grandfather been overly concerned about the crop this year? Hadn't he insisted that every square inch of the land be planted? Hadn't he gotten up in the middle of the night to check the irrigation? Gonna be our best ever, Willie, he had said. And he had said it over and over again. Yes, after the harvest, everything would be all right. Little Willie was sure of it. But Doc Smith wasn't. He's getting worse, she said three weeks later. It's best to face these things, Willie. Your grandfather's going to die. He'll get better, you'll see. Wait till after the harvest. Doc Smith shook her head. I think you consider letting Mrs. Peacock in town take care of him, like she does those other sickly folks. He'll be in good hands until the end comes. Doc Smith stepped up into the wagon. You can come live with me until we make plans. She looked at Searchlight. I'm sure there's a farmer in these parts who needs a good work dog. Searchlight growled, causing Doc Smith's horse Rex to pull the wagon forward a few feet. Believe me, Willie, it's better this way. No, shouted little Willie. We're a family, don't you see? We gotta stick together. Searchlight barked loudly, causing the horse to rear up on his hind legs and then take off running. Doc Smith jammed her foot on the brake, but it didn't do any good. The wagon disappeared down the road in a cloud of dust. All right, so who is in this part? Answering our first question, who can raise their hand and tell me? Let me scroll through. Who is in this part? Heavenly? Little Willie and the doctor. Yep, Little Willie and Doc Smith, very nice. All right, and our second question was, what just happened? So what just happened? Oscar, go ahead and unmute yourself. His, gra his grandfather didn't want to wake up and he died. He hasn't died yet, but yes, his grandfather doesn't want to wake up. And the and Dr. Smith has suggested that he go live with Mrs. Peacock, who takes care of other sickly people, okay? And then our last question is, does this fit with something that already happened, or is this new? So does this fit with what we read in chapter one, or is this brand new? Who can answer that question for me? Is his grandpa not waking up brand new information or did we know that from chapter one? Destiny, got your hand raised. With the park? So it's not new, but we already knew that grandf his grandfather wasn't waking up. So that ties along with chapter one. So it's something that already happened. So that's why we would say it ties along with that. All right, so do you see how after I read a short bit of Stone Fox, I went back and asked myself those three questions and I asked you guys those three questions to see if we understood what happened in the text. Does that make sense how I went back and checked my comprehension or checked my understanding? Give me a thumbs up if that made sense. All right, so today, what you guys are going to do is when you read, you are going to go back and check your understanding. So I would read, um, a little bit longer than a paragraph, maybe for a couple minutes, and then go back and ask yourself those three questions that are up on Canvas, okay? Does anyone have any questions about reading comprehension? Okay. 
Destiny, remember what we said about typing in the chat while I'm talking during the lesson? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys your work for today. So I will just go back right to our Canvas page. Reading Monday. All right, so all you have to do today is the reading comprehension practice. You'll click on this um, button and it says read the following passage, then answer the next four questions. And you'll click on this blue box if you want that text read out to you and then you'll answer the four questions. Does that make sense? Let me scroll over, see if anyone has any questions. Awesome. Let me go back to reading on Monday. It also says, read a book or get on Epic. Make sure you add your reading time to your reading log. Where's my reading log? Where can I find that? Who can tell me? Where can I find my reading log? Who can tell me? Gabe? Google Drive. Google Drive, right. So if you don't see it right when you open up Google Drive, you can search for your reading log. And if you didn't already share it with me, you need to make sure you share it with me, which some of you have already shared it with me. It's the same as your writing journal. Once you share it with me, I have it forever. Actually, I think it's on this paper. So I have Raylan's reading log, Paxton's reading log, Charlie's reading log, Gabe's reading log, Caitlin's reading log, Nino, your reading log, and Destiny's reading log. All right. Okay. 